What's going on? I hope you're doing really well. So this is the Newcastle United nil Tottenham 2 match review. This is the morning after the game. And uh, a lot of fans were quite uh, angry yesterday, which I can kind of understand. I've been one of them. And uh, I'll tell you why I was angry towards the end of this review. So going into the first half, Newcastle United were more than holding their own. Tottenham were having more of the ball because we all know Tottenham have got a really good team and they finished second in the Premier League last season. And uh, you all know they got fret all over the pitch. Dembele was pulling the strings for them in that midfield. And uh, Newcastle United didn't really have that many opportunities, but they had one most notably through Dwight Gale from the Leeds' end when the ball got flighted over the top. Dwight Gale should have took a better touch. And if he took a better touch, then Hugo Lloris might even have saved it. And they might even have gone into the top corner because, again, he beat the offside trap. And uh, he just needs to uh, you know, take care more with the ball. And he had a couple more opportunities, but most notably Tottenham were, were very good at the back with Alderweireld and uh, the Tongan. And uh, Tottenham had a couple themselves through Eriksen, but Elliot was uh, on hand to uh, save a couple. But again, it was one of those first halves where both teams were kind of sniffing each other out. Tottenham were trying to break Newcastle down, but they were getting more and more frustrated because we were getting men behind the ball. We didn't really attack Tottenham that much, which I can kind of understand. You know, we're playing a team that you know, are going to be challenging for the Premier League this season. And uh, there was one major incident from Harry Kane where, first of all, we lost Paul Dummett. So, great, that's not good for us. And then, only a few minutes later, we lost uh, Florian Rajon because of Harry Kane. So, Harry Kane uh, pretty much went in scissor, well, scissor foot. Uh, and uh, again, it was a high challenge. And the referee gave him a yellow card. In my opinion, it should have been a red card. I don't know how the referee hasn't given that as a red card. You know, it's a blatant scissor kick. Intend not, you know, to, to hurt uh, Florian Rajon, and you can tell he's got a cast on now. And uh, you know, we could potentially lose him up to six weeks. And uh, that you know, that really got the fans there uh, wound up. And in my opinion, seeing from the Leeds' end, it was very, very hard to see at first. But watching the back on match of the day last night, I don't know how he wasn't sent off. You know, don't get us wrong, I love Harry Kane as a player. You know, he goes and says all the right things, but you know, you can't do that. You can't show your studs and go uh, feet off the ground and do things like that. And uh, again, you know, it just it just was what was to come in the second half, really. So then going into the second half, Newcastle United got off to the possible worst start through George Shelby, our captain. He only went and stamped on Deli Ali, didn't he? So Deli Ali was running around on the floor. It was a potential free kick to Newcastle. And uh, instead of just leaving Deli Ali to roll on the floor and get on with it, he set a stamp all over him. What are you doing, George Shelby? What are you doing? I mean, you are our captain. You are possibly our best player who creates a lot of opportunities and you've gone and done that. How silly are you, mate? I mean, you're potentially now going to be getting a four to five game ban, not three, four to five because of violent conduct. And you've done it right in front of the referee. So again, you know, you've only gone and done it to yourselves. And, you know, we were in this game, but then after that, Newcastle United capitulated because we don't have any creativity. We struggled in the first half to create much anyway, but we just didn't do anything second half because we lost our, our, our leader in George O'Shelby. And uh, this might affect us in the next, you know, two or three games. So again, Tottenham ought to do what they do best. Deli Ali uh, scored to make a 1-0 to Tottenham. And then they brought on the likes of Son, who pretty much ripped apart. We just we couldn't get started. And uh, again, Tottenham then made it 2-0 later on. And then further on into the game, Tottenham had many more opportunities. Uh, they had a ball which just hit the end of the post towards the end and bounced out. They had another one which was in the back of the net on the 90 plus 3 minutes. And it, could, it was off, you know, pretty much offside. And... Uh, we just capitulated really and I just wanted the game to end and uh, it just wasn't a be really for us and uh, I, I can't tell whether or not we were going to win the game with 11 men or not that's debatable because Tottenham are a good team they probably would have picked one off uh, sooner rather than later and uh, Rob Elliott made some great saves most notably and uh, Christian Atsu again you know for, for our team being very quiet for me he was uh, our man of the match you know creating many opportunities twisting and turning the uh, Tottenham defence and uh, he's definitely one of those most improved players over the summer. But again, it wasn't a B. We now move out to Huddersfield without a captain. And uh, obviously, Chris, uh, Crystal Palace were beaten off Huddersfield by three goals to nil. And uh, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm, I'm angry at the, the performance. I'm more angry at John Joe Shelby and uh, the way he conducted himself. You know, he's supposed to be a captain. He's supposed to be leading by example. And uh, again, it just wasn't a B. So again, it, we'll, we'll move on. And uh, there's also a match day experience. All links will be down below in the description. Go there, check it out if you haven't seen it already. And uh, there is a 400 subscriber special video coming out uh, this week, either Tuesday, tomorrow or Wednesday. 
I'm not too sure. I will also be at the Open Day recording that as well. So there's loads and loads of videos to be coming out on 100% NFC this week. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All my social media will be linked down below. And uh, let us know your thoughts on the uh, game. Comments down below. It's been shortly speaking. I'll see you all later. Peace out.